It has been described as a sea serpent, a dragon, and even a monster fish. Despite the names, the Loch Ness Monster is not a real being and is only a product of over 80 years of hoaxes and wishful thinking. Today, I will prove that the Loch Ness Monster is a creature that could not be real and is the result of misidentification of ordinary animals and objects, fabricated photographs, and mysterious monster sightings. Although the Loch Ness Monster has been widely discussed over several years and by several generations, I believe that modern science can finally put this mystery to rest. Personally, I have done quite a bit of research on the topic. The mystery of the Loch Ness Monster has intrigued me for a while. However, the more that I research, the more I realize how much of a hoax this creature really is. Today, through the presentation of scientific findings and the revelation of fabricated photographs, I will prove that the Loch Ness Monster is simply a creature of imagination. Now that I've introduced the topic, let's talk about the scientific findings that disprove this mystery. Years of scientific research have proven that the Loch Ness Monster is not a creature that could exist in the Loch Ness of Scotland. My first point will briefly discuss these scientific findings. To begin, I'd like to bring to attention the size of the Loch Ness. The Food and Agriculture Administration of the United Nations, in a publication written in 1993 titled Inland Fisheries of Europe, it is reported that the Loch Ness is 39 kilometers long with a maximum depth of 230 meters. In studies conducted by Adrian Schein, a researcher of the Loch and Moore project from, from the 1970s, it is revealed that the Loch has a total fish population of around 22 tons. The Loch Ness Monster is widely believed to be a plesiosaur. This creature is said to have been between 5 and 49 feet in length. Well, the, this fish population could support one or a few of the plesiosaur, it is unlikely that it could support an entire population of the creature for more than 80 years. Next, I'm going to discuss the temperature of the Loch Ness. In an article, article published in the Scottish Naturalist in 1987, it is discussed that the lock, while it never freezes, maintains a constant temperature of around 5 degrees Celsius. This converts to around 41 degrees Fahrenheit. The plesiosaur, which is thought to be a cold-blooded reptile, could not have survived in these conditions. My final bit of scientific evidence discusses the age of the Loch Ness. According to the plesiosaur directory, the plesiosaur is said to have lived from the end of the Triassic period, which was around 200 million years ago, to the end of the Cretaceous period, which is around 66 million years ago. The Loch Ness, however, is only around 10,000 years old and dates back to the end of the last ice age. Before then, it was frozen for about 20,000 years. This proves that the plesiosaur simply couldn't have lived in the lock during its existence. To summarize my first main point, I've discussed the size, temperature, and age of the Loch Ness. These facts prove that the Loch Ness Monster is not real and could not have existed. In my next point, I will reveal a few of the specific monster photographs that have been fabricated over the last 80 years. Over the years, several photographs of the Loch Ness Monster have surfaced. These photographs have been all found to be either fabricated or staged. I will discuss a few of those photographs today. The first known depiction of the monster was taken in a photograph, was a photograph taken by Hugh Gray in 1993. In the photograph, it's blurry and reports have actually noted that a dog's head can be seen in the photograph if one studies it closely. Here I have a copy of the photograph. And this area here is what's expected, suspected to be the dog's head. And it's actually suspected that Hugh Gray actually took his Labrador on a walk to the lock that day. And the picture de depicts the dog fetching a stick from the lock. The first known photograph of the monster's head and neck was taken by a London doctor, Robert Kenneth Wilson in 1934. Wilson refused to have his name attached to the photograph and it became known as the surgeon's photograph. This photo shows what looks to be an animal's head and neck coming up from under the water. Here I have a copy of the photo. 
and this is probably one of the most famous photographs of the Loch Ness Monster and it's what to be thought of its head but analysis of the photograph has shown that it's either a otter or a floating piece of wood. Another well-known photograph was reported in 2014 by Apple Maps. This photo shows a large creature that is thought to be the Loch Ness Monster. And here is that photograph. And this object here is what's thought to be the Loch Ness Monster, but analysis of the photograph have revealed it to be either the wake of a boat or a floating piece of wood. To summarize, my second main point further proves that the Loch Ness Monster is not a real being. Today, I have discussed the scientific findings that disprove the existence of the Loch Ness Monster and explained the images that have been widely believed to be proof that the monster exists. These two points serve well to disprove this mystery, but further evidence exists that explains that the monster is simply a hoax. While the legend of the Loch Ness Monster is interesting and fun to believe, I hope this presentation proves that the Loch Ness Monster is only a monster and is only a product of the legend. Whether it's known as a sea serpent, a dragon, or a monster fish, the Loch Ness Monster is not real and its existence is simply a hoax.